You wanna know how to make your waterfalls go from looking like this to looking more like this? Eh, I gotcha. Good news is, is that you can get this particular look with any camera. You just have to use these settings. But before we jump into the settings to get the best results, you wanna use a tripod and an ND filter. But we'll talk about the ND filter later. For now, we'll stick our camera on our tripod and apply these settings. You'll first wanna use your camera in manual mode. Shift your camera dial to that big M. Next, we wanna be able to change our aperture to a higher number, as much as the camera lens will let us go, whether it's F16 or F22 or anything in between. After that, we wanna get that ISO, that light sensitivity of the camera, to the lowest number possible. Every camera is different. It could be 100 or it could be 50. Whatever it is, just bring it down. Then last but not least, the shutter speed. Let's leave that at one second, where it actually looks like this on your camera. So right now your settings should look something like this. You see, when we press the shutter button, we introduce a little shake to the shot. So to avoid that, we're gonna use a timer. And when we do it, two to three seconds is enough. Great, now just point your camera at the waterfall, hit the shutter, don't worry, no shake because it's on a timer. And three, two, one, voila! Of course, results may vary depending on the time of day and the camera settings that you use. If the time of the day is closer to sunset, you may consider slowing down your shutter speed to something like 10 seconds, or even open your aperture by using a lower number for your f-stop, like f16, f11, f8. If it's closer to noon, you may want to use a faster shutter speed at least one second. And make sure your aperture is closed all the way down to the highest number for your f-stop. And still maintain the lowest possible number for your ISO. Does the image still look too bright? If you still remember that ND filter I mentioned earlier, this is the right time to use it for that noontime long exposure. What's an ND filter, you may ask? An ND filter is basically Ray-Bans for your camera lenses. It's gonna make your image look darker, or in camera talk, stop down some light in your image. Now, normally you wouldn't want your image to be darker, but in long exposure, it may be exactly what you need. In long exposure photography, your camera is able to capture all the motion in front of the camera sensor and lens, and just blur it all together, giving it that dreamy and even foggy look. However, even with the right camera settings, with that in ND filter, you're still gonna wind up with a final image that looks like you took a picture of a flashbang. Here's what a photo would look like if you did a one to three second exposure without an ND filter. Of course, you can still try the 10 to 15 long exposure without an ND filter, but you'll just have to wait for better lighting conditions darker lighting conditions for it to work out. Because otherwise... If you're trying to shoot with people's subjects, you'll want to experiment with shorter shutter speeds than longer shutter speeds because of motion blur. The longer your camera shutter is open, the more motion it captures of your subject, which includes not only the waterfalls, but the person as well. And here's what that may look like. You see, whether bobbing back and forth or, you know, swaying side to side unintentionally, you're gonna pick up that motion blur. So as a recap, seconds of shutter makes your falls look smooth as butter. With a filter, you've got room for even a slower shutter. Without a filter, close your aperture to the higher f-stop and leave your ISO number to the lowest number it's got. Don't forget to have a tripod and program a three second timer to keep it steady. Then just in case, have the right ND filter and now you'll be all set and ready. While you're out in nature, this will come in handy. But if you're still camping out and want to take photos of the stars, here's a video on that. Thanks again for watching. Now go out there and shoot for the life that matters. See ya.